to study external features of root, stem, leaf and flower of monocot and dicot plants. Angiosperm is made from two Greek words, angio meaning covered and sperma meaning seed. Plant embryos in seeds have structures called cotyledons which are also called seed leaves. On the basis of number of cotyledons, angiosperms are divided into two major groups, namely monocots and dicots. Madam, how can we identify root, stem, leaf and flower of monocot and dicot plants? In monocots, the seeds of these plants bear only one cotyledon. The leaves are simple with a parallel venation. Roots are fibrous and similar in shape. Flowers are tremorous, having three members in each floral whorl. Vascular bundles are closed, that is, cambium is absent and scattered in the parenchyma and hence no secondary growth is found. Whereas in dicots, the seeds of these plants bear two cotyledons. Venation in the leaves is reticulate. Root system includes tap root with primary and secondary roots. Vascular bundles are arranged in a form of a ring and are of open type, that is, possess cambium, which is responsible for secondary growth. Flowers are pentamerous, having five members in each whorl. Let's do an experiment to study external features of root, stem, leaf and flower of monocot and dicot plants. Our aim here is to study external features of root, stem, leaf and flower of monocot and dicot plants. The materials required are plant specimens, monocot, example maize, rice, etc., dicot, example brassica, magnifying glass, forceps, needle and microscope. Procedure Select a dicot and a monocot plant with roots, leaves, flowers and fruits. Observe the differences in the external features of different parts of a plant, that is, stems, leaves, roots, flowers and seeds. Wash the roots carefully to remove the soil and spread them on a sheet of paper. Study the nature of the root system. Also, study the leaves for their shape and venation. Carefully observe the flowers and identify the different floral parts. Also, count the number of sepals, petals and stamens in the flowers. Take a transverse section of the ovaries and observe it under a microscope. Remove the seed coat and count the number of cotyledons. Note down all the observations and draw the diagram of all the parts studied. Observations Characteristics Monocot, dicot, plant size, leaf venation, parallel or reticulate, leaf shape, broad or narrow, stem, hollow or solid, vascular bundles, scattered or ring, root system, tap root or adventitious, flower, trimeris or pentamerous, number of petals, number of sepals, number of carpel, number of stamens, seed, single cotyledon or two cotyledons, conclusion, monocot or dicot. Result. The study reveals many differences between dicot and monocot plants. The distinctive features can be seen in most of the plants belonging to these groups. Precautions. Observation should be done using a hand lens. Slides and the microscope should be handled with care. Handle the plant parts with care to avoid damage. Thank you ma'am for this knowledgeable experiment.